Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many machine learning enthusiasts encounter. Our viewer asks, how can I give a constant input to Keras when my network has two time series inputs and one of them is a fixed vector that repeats for every time step? Let's explore this intriguing challenge together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember today, just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. To provide a constant input to your Keras model, we can utilize the Keras Functional API. This allows us to create a model that can accept both time series inputs and a fixed vector. First, we will define the input layers for both time series data and the fixed vector. The fixed vector will be defined as a separate input layer. Next, we will concatenate the fixed vector with the time series input. This allows the model to use the fixed vector in every time step of the computation. Now we can add layers to our model using the combined input. This will allow the model to learn from both the time series data and the fixed vector. Finally, compile and fit your model as usual. Make sure to provide the fixed vector as part of your training data. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To give a constant input to Keras, you can use the input function along with a constant tensor from TensorFlow. This method wraps the tensor, allowing it to be used with Keras layers. Note that the previous methods may not work as expected anymore. For updated solutions, check the latest discussions on platforms like Stack Overflow. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To give a constant input to Keras, you need to ensure that the constant input is included when compiling your model to avoid disconnecting the graph. First, create your input shape and define an array of ones. Then convert this array into a Keras variable and make it a tensor. After defining your layers, you can subtract the inputs from the constant tensor to get the output. Finally, compile your model with the necessary parameters. During training, you can simply feed in your data without needing the constant layer anymore. Alternatively, using a custom layer can simplify the process. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.